yes, don't let the sweater fool you. It's not cold at all. <laughs> it's a little cloudy, but it's not cold. I just got this and uh, it's just so comfy. I just don't want to take it off. Anyway, oh, ignore all these brushes. That has nothing to do with today's video. <laughs> I just, I really just need to get to the point. I just need to wash those. That's why they're there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> today we're going to be doing my September favorites. I actually don't have a lot, a lot to talk about because I really haven't worn makeup at all this month. <laughs> my life is just, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna be talking about a few things that I've been loving this month. It's not a lot, but you know, I have a few things. <laughs> Let's do it. So the first thing, I've, I think I've actually talked about this before, but like, I love this stuff. And when I first moved here, I went like two, three months without this because I couldn't find it anywhere. I thought it was something that was only sold on the East Coast, but it's not. I found it. This is Carry Lotion. This is the Shea Butter Nourishing version. Oh my God, you guys, this lotion. This is like the ultimate ash buster right here. I, I never have an ashy day with this. Now, for some reason, the skin on my face is oily, but everything else is dry. My legs are dry. My ankles are dry. My elbows dry. Like, but with this, oh, it leaves your skin just so like shiny and moisturized. Now it is kind of sticky at first. Eventually it like, you know, absorbs into the skin and it leaves you feeling just real, real plump and stuff. But I love this lotion. It actually gives me like a glow, a glow to my skin, you know, but it will leave like grease marks. <laughs> Anyway, I have a couple of skincare products. The first one is actually, my best friend gave this to me like forever ago. I think she gave it to me for my birthday. And I have like so many cleansers that I just, you know, I hadn't gotten to it yet until, until now. This is the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser. I love this. This is for all skin types. I want to say it's actually for acne prone skin. It's supposed to wash away dirt and impurities without stripping the skin. It pulls dirt oil and pollution and makeup out of the pores. It's supposed to tighten your pores, make it look softer, cleaner, balanced, radiant. It's gentle. I love this stuff. I have actually been using this all month long and I, I love this so much more than I love my last cleanser, which was the one that I featured in that night time skin routine. This is so much nicer than that. I love this. It actually feels like a gel cleanser, but it's creamy and it lathers up really nice and it really, oh, it just, it really gets in there. And I've actually been using it in conjunction with this. This is the Foreo Luna Play, I think mini or whatever, but these two together, I actually just wet my face and then I pour like a little, maybe like a dime size amount on this. And I, I totally just go go to town. This vibrates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just feels so good on the skin. It cleans everything out. And I feel like I'm not really sure which one it is, <laughs> but my pores are so clean afterwards. I have giant pores. So like stuff like sits in there and when stuff gets stuck in there, they're even larger. So this has actually been really helping to clean them out and make them look smaller, you know, cause they're clean. <laughs> really been loving those. The next thing, this is actually something I bought from the vitamin shop. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Now, I actually ran out of my Glam Glow mask like right when I first moved here. And I wanted to try this out because people actually say this is like a dupe. And this gigantic jar was $7. The Glam Glow jar that I normally get is I think $70. So I wanted to try this and this is actually really nice. So it's not as intense on the skin as the Glam Glow one is. No, it's intense. Okay, it's intense. It clears out like your whole life. It repairs your credit. It pays off your debt. This mask just, it, it resolves all of your childhood traumas. No, 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 I'm just kidding. It says it's deep pore cleansing and bruh, it is. So basically I just mix it with water. You can also mix it with apple cider vinegar and it's like a powder. So you put in, see, so you put in like a tablespoon of the powder and then like either water or apple cider vinegar and then you like mix it up and like put it all over your face and it cleans out your pores. My face felt so clean after using this. My pores looked smaller. It really just drew out all of that like gunk, you know? Really love that. And it was $7, maybe eight. 
<laughs> the next thing, this actually came in my boxy charm. I think the boxy lux boxy charm that I just got. I'll link that video also, like down there, you know, because it's easier. This is from also from Sunday Riley. This is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. This is like a gel moisturizer, and this is like really hydrating. Like a little bit goes a really long way with this. It's like extremely hydrating. I use it at night, and when I wake up in the morning, just like I'm glowing. Actually. I'm greasy, but I'm glowing. <laughs> but I really like this moisturizer. It makes my skin feel smoother and softer. I don't know how. It has hyaluronic acid and it has enzymes to smooth the look of textured and dehydrated skin. That's probably why. <laughs> the next thing, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the loose setting powder that they just launched with all those foundations that they just came out with. This is awesome. Did I have I talked about this before? Did I talk about this last month? Because I'm I'm gonna talk about it this month. <laughs> First of all, this setting powder actually makes you look really smooth without being cakey. It's not heavy, it just it smooths out the pores, your lines, your under eyes. It smooths all of that out. And I really like the color of this one. Mine is in the shade banana, and it's actually like a highlight shade for me under the eyes. And I feel like it makes me look matte and stay matte without making my skin too dry or textured because sometimes matte can just really it looks really bad on the skin the next thing this is also something that i got in my boxy lux this is actually the tarte park avenue princess chisel palette this is like a contour and highlight palette and i've actually only been using like these shades over here to bronze this is actually the bronzer that i have on today and i just i love how smooth these look I, they look really smooth they blend blend really nicely and they look soft on your face. They don't look harsh. They blend out so nice. I'm really into this palette and the colors are nice. I actually thought that some of these were going to be like my skin tone. If you're maybe a few shades darker than me, you probably can't use this, but it works on my skin tone and I really like how they look on the skin. I like wearing stuff like this when I'm having like a no makeup makeup day where I'm just wearing like concealer, eyebrows, mascara, and just a little bit of bronzer for color. You know, the next thing, this is actually new from Fenty Beauty. This is, they actually launched a couple new matchstick highlight thingamajiggers. This is in the color Champagne Heist. And that's what it looks like. It's like a champagne-y, bronzy highlight color. First of all, I love the formula on these because they're metallic, but they have like a powder finish to them. It's not like greasy. It's not like emollient on your face. You can actually put it on over your face wait, put it on over your foundation after you've powdered and it doesn't like lift anything. It blends out really nice. I'm really into the and It's like super reflective. It looks like wet on the skin. Now this is the highlight I'm actually wearing on my face now. But again, it's just, it's got like a powdery finish to it. So it's not like tacky. It's not sticky on your face. It's not emollient. It's not greasy. And I really love the formula of all of these matchsticks. They are like an oily person's dream. I really recommend all of these matchsticks for people with oily skin that want to use cream products but are scared because, you know, we really don't need help with like, you know, grease on our face. <laughs> really love these. I also bought the other one in, um, I think they launched like a few colors. This one was in Champagne Heist. I also bought the one, I think the color Beach Bum, but I haven't really used it. It's still in the box. I I, I know, I'm, I'm almost ashamed to admit that. It's still in the box. <laughs> I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> anyway, the next thing is actually this lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in Lasting Passion. First of all, I've talked about these lipsticks so many times before. This is like my ideal lipstick formula. First of all, this this color is awesome. I, I, I love, I love red lipsticks. Just like natural face, red lips, done. You look so put together, so chic, so timeless. Uh, so I love the color of this, but it's the formula that really does it for me. It goes on like gel, like it glides, like a gel-based lipstick, but it's like velvet on the lips. 
and it feels like a powder once it sets. It's almost like you put a face powder on your lips. I love it. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't crumble. It doesn't crest. I, I just, I love this formula of lipstick. I don't know how many shades they have in this formula, but I have like five or six of them already. And they're like, they're the only lipsticks in my collection that are like in constant rotation because the formula is just like that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Now, the last thing is actually this. Now, this one is still in the packaging. I actually bought like a four pack. So there's like four of these sponges and I gave a couple to my sisters. And this one is actually still in the packaging because I'm I'm ashamed to show you the one I've been using <laughs> but this is actually from Juno and Co this is the microfiber rose velvet sponge and I again I've been using one but it's mm, I need to wash it <laughs> but this is what it looks like it's actually like a velvet looking sponge this is actually dry when it when you wet it it does actually get uh, substantially bigger but I have been loving this sponge I have actually been using this sponge to blend out my milk makeup up stick flex foundation or whatever. I love that foundation and I love this this sponge. It actually blends it out to where it looks like airbrushed on my face and it I feel like it provides more coverage. It doesn't soak up. I've actually used it with my Urban Decay liquid foundation and also my Born to Run. No, Born This Way <laughs> liquid foundation and it doesn't actually soak up too much product. It's nice. I love the finish. I love the coverage. I love how it looks on the skin and it really presses everything into the skin. <sighs> I really love that sponge. That's it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> Why am I so tiny? Actually, I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> uh, um, 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 uh, I, 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 uh, 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 huh? Well, she can't be excited at all right now. <laughs> um, like, uh, um, the only lipsticks in my collection. <sighs>